Hi, today we're going to show you how to perform weekly maintenance on Kobe 18. Kobe is there to save you time and take on the mundane work of floor care. If you keep up with weekly maintenance, Kobe will continue to save you time. We found that Kobe users who consistently perform weekly maintenance have a higher reliability and lower downtime with their units. Weekly maintenance can make a significant impact on the efficiency of your unit. We suggest adding Kobe's weekly maintenance to one specific day each week and designating a primary and secondary person to oversee the weekly maintenance. For example, every Wednesday, John performs weekly maintenance on Kobe and Mary backs up John when he isn't available on Wednesdays to perform the weekly maintenance. We found that if you stay up on weekly maintenance, it will take less than 10 minutes each week. As a reminder, our daily and weekly maintenance items are on our lid. Remember, when you take care of Kobe, Kobe takes care of you. Before you start cleaning, you'll want a few items on hand. Gloves, we recommend to always wear gloves for health and safety reasons. A microfiber towel. Paper towels for drying up water and cleaning. The brush cleaning tool. Spray bottle with soap for cleaning underneath. Lens cleaner for cameras and sensors. I'm going to show you how to remove the side brushes. Kobe has two side brushes and one main brush. Access the side brushes. You notice there's two doors on each side of the Kobe. These doors swing open. To open these doors, locate the small arrow and use your fingers to pull the door open. The side brushes are just inside. You pull down and it comes off. Same to the other side. Open the door with your fingers, pull down on the brush and it comes right out. So a couple things about the brush is there's two different patterns. One is a square, one is a hex. That's so you don't get them on the wrong side. We're just gonna put these brushes to the side and we'll clean them. This scene, we're going to show you how to clean the tank out. Want to lift up the handle and the lid. Pull up the handle on the tank and pull it straight out. Take it over to the sink and dump out your dirty water. You'll notice on top there's a blue and yellow door that opens. Open those up. There's filters under there. You grab the yellow and the blue one, turn them. You're going to want to rinse these out. The blue one has a ball in it. If that's not clean, you will get a Kobe error. The yellow one, if that's not clean, water will not pick up. So rinse those out really well. Make sure the bulb moves freely. To reinstall, you just line those back up and turn them. Now you're going to want to rinse out the inside of the tank Open up the blue and yellow doors again and wipe them with a paper towel to get any debris out of there. Also, if there's any debris in the tank after rinsing it, wipe that with a paper towel as well. To access the underside of the Kobe, we have to tilt it on its back. This part requires special attention so not to damage it. First thing you want to do is always remove the tank. You open the lid, 
and pull the tank straight out. You want to dry up any excess water in there. This is important because if there's excess water left, it can damage the screen. Then you want to remove this blue solution filter and rinse that out. Just running that under water cleans it. Set that to the side after you rinse it. Once again, make sure that the tank base is completely dry of water. And then take some paper towels and stu stuff in where the solution filter was and the recovery hose, which is the yellow one. Now you're ready to tilt Kobe on the back. If you notice on the back, there's rubber mounts. That's designed to come in contact with the floor as you lay it down. When you lower it down, close the lid so you don't pinch your fingers. And lower it really slowly. Now that Kobe's on its back, we're going to demonstrate how to remove the main brush. You can open the side door and locate the blue tab on the brush. Turn that clockwise a quarter turn. Sometimes if it's stuck in there, you can move it around a little bit to get it out. And then the brush pulls straight out. Next thing we're going to do is remove the hopper. The hopper has magnets on there that hold it in place. Simply hold the yellow handle at the end of the hopper and slide the hopper right out. You can see the magnets there. We want to make sure those clean. We'll wipe them down real quick. Also dump any debris into the trash can from the hopper. It's important that there's no debris left in the hopper as it will cause problems with the performance of the Kobe. While the brushes and hopper are removed, we're going to clean the undercarriage of the machine. You're going to want to grab some paper towels for this. Dry paper towel works fine, but wet is best. We're going to start by wiping the area where the main brush is seated. Over time, as you can see, a lot of dirt collects right here. It's important to wipe this clean. If not, the brush can get stuck in all of that and not rotate. Certain areas that build up are where the brush mounts onto the hub and also where the hopper mounts. Those are important to check and remove any debris. Next, we're going to clean the cliff sensors. Grab a microfiber cloth the cliff sensors are located on the bottom, marked by the arrows. We want to make sure those are clean so the performance of the Kobe is top. Now that we have the brushes and hopper removed, we're going to take them to the sink and rinse them off with low pressure water. We're going to start with cleaning the main brush. Lots of debris can get stuck in there and it's important to keep this clean so the Kobe continues to run and the brush does not seize up. We provide you with a brush cleaning tool to clean out any debris or hair. I'll show you how to use that. Once you cut off any hair and debris, then we'll rinse it. Same thing for the side brushes, just rinse them. If there's anything in there, take it out. It's important to clean all debris out of the brushes so it doesn't scratch your floor.
and also the hopper. We just want to rinse that out as well. Make sure all debris is out. Now that we have our brushes cleaned up, we're going to reinstall the main brush. To start, you want to make sure that the brush is properly seated. If you don't properly seat the brush, you're going to run into risk of having issues and that would trigger an error code. Locate the hub and put it on there firmly. Put the blue tab back into the bracket. Rotate that counterclockwise. You'll want to check and make sure that that's snug. You don't want that brush to be loose. And again, just to show you how to remove it, you open the door, blue tab clockwise, pull the brush out and away. Next, we're going to reinstall the side brushes. Start by noticing there is a square and a hex pattern. That's so you can see on the Kobe, there's also a square and hex so that you cannot go on the wrong spot. All you do is push them up to the Kobe. You'll hear a click, the same thing for the other side. Last, we're going to put the hopper back on. Just a reminder to make sure you have wiped the magnets on the hopper and the Kobe so they're clean and clear of any debris and they can attach securely. Line up the hopper with a hole with a mount on the side of the machine and then click it into place. Now we're going to tilt the Kobe back upright, grab the handle and slowly carefully raise the Kobe back. Now that Kobe is back upright, open the handle and the lid. Remove the paper towel that we placed in there earlier. Reinstall your blue solution filter and gasket. Take your thumbs and go around the gasket to make sure you have a proper seal. Now we're going to reinstall the tank. The tank can only go one way. Make sure the handle folds down forward. Next, we're going to show you how to remove the squeegee assembly. It's located at the bottom of the rear of the Kobe. You see these two tabs, locate those, put your thumbs on them and press down. It's just a magnetic hold. When you take that out, you wanna look for any clogs in their screen right here. Flip it over and do the same. Also look for any excessive wear that will look like wavy or bacon to the squeegee that will cause it to not pick up water properly. We're going to take this over to the sink and rinse it out. After we rinse it out, we want to wipe it down with a paper towel. Make sure we clean the magnets, which are right on top. To reinstall, just grab those two tabs, line it back up with a Kobe, and you'll feel the magnets catch. Now we're going to clean the cameras here on front. They need to be wiped down clean of any dirt, dust, debris, water splatter, anything like that. We provide you with a lens cleaner. Over time, if you do not clean these, it will cause performance issues with a Kobe and possibly error codes. So there's two cameras located right on front, the bigger one, wipe that down with the lens cleaner, and then that smaller one right on top. You'll also notice there's ultrasonic sensors around the Kobe. Same thing with that, the lens cleaner, or microfiber cloth works for this. Again, just make sure that these are all clean of any water or debris, dirt, dust. And 
Now that those are wiped off, there's one more sensor, which is the LiDAR. It's located on the front in the middle of the machine. It's hard to see unless you bend down. Clean that with either a microfiber cloth or the lens cleaner. Just as a reminder, the weekly maintenance is there to make sure that Kobe has a higher reliability and lower downtime. Weekly maintenance can make a significant impact on the efficiency of your unit and all the weekly maintenance is shown on our lid decal.